So we're ready now. We have our tight perimeter band, the support structure is done. The fuel vent is uh, covered and we're ready for Ryan to start putting the film on the boat. Ryan's in the boat now pulling the film over. We ought to keep this folded as long as possible before uh, uh, getting at it the entire length of the boat before we unfold it side to side. Uh, then it turns into more of a wind catcher. And Mother Nature already knows when you open a box of shrink wrap and you can almost always hear the wind start to pick up. So we want to have it all folded up and again that's another good reason to have the uh, perimeter band tight. Because now when we have the film on and we unfold it at the first time uh, we want to be able to tuck it and have the perimeter band actually hold the material underneath it. Now as, we putting, or as we're putting the film on we want to have an extra six inches at the bow below the perimeter band and same thing at the stern. Ryan's cutting the film, making sure he has enough to go over the lower unit. Next step is going to be to unfold it. And again, this is a center slit material that unfolds equally from the center to each side. You always want to make sure that the center of the material is on the center of the boat because it's disheartening when you cut off some when you're already short. Find a couple of pleats up near the bow, and then the next pleat will be near the windshield, and then we'll have one at the transom corners also. Just tucking enough right now to hold the material on. And again, this is where a tight perimeter band is uh, necessary to make sure that the film does stay on until we have a chance to heat weld it with the heat tool. Ryan's finishing tucking along the sides and working towards the bow. And once we get to the bow, we have a, a special way of cutting out the excess material so that uh, you get a much neater and uh, more durable type of bow. And now, and Ryan just went by the windshield and you can see that there's a, always a pleat near the uh, side of the windshield on, on all boats. And we just like to put the pleat towards the stern just as a standard type of uh, operation in case the boat will be towed anywhere. And uh, on this particular boat we don't really have much of a, uh, a pleat as we get towards the bow. On some boats you'll find that uh, there is a pleat. Now at the bow there is always excess material. A lot of people just fold it over and try and heat weld it all together. But as you can see, the easiest way is to cut out the excess. So Ryan just moved the film out a few inches forward of the bow, followed the shape of the bow down, and now he just can tuck it in either direction, overlap it and tuck it. Ryan has the uh, entire uh, cover tucked under the perimeter band around the boat. Now it's time to use the heat tool to make a heat weld. So we're actually putting a hem in the cover where uh, he'll run the heat tool in a horizontal fashion, the uh, flame itself, right above the perimeter band. And uh, he's using the back of his hand to uh, pat the material and that fuses the pieces together so the perimeter band is actually sealed into the base of the cover. You only need a couple inches of uh, heat weld to actually make it work well. Now as you come to a pleat, you want to do the pleats at the same time as you're going around the boat. So when you're done going around, you're ready to, to begin shrinking the cover. So same thing, you can shoot heat into the pleats, pat it shut with the, the back of your hand, making sure that you're wearing your glove. Again, the heat will be horizontal, just above the perimeter band. This is a beautiful use of the shrink wrap, or the shrink fast heat tool. And it goes very quickly. 
This is why you only want a couple or three or four inches of material tucked in above the perimeter band. Brian's finishing up now. Both sides of the boat have been uh, shrink or heat welded around the perimeter band. So he's going back to the transom and uh, folding the film under and actually holding it up to uh, get a good heat weld. And he'll also be protecting the lower unit at the same time. Well, he's almost done on the uh, stern of the boat. And once we are done at the stern, we have one more major step to do before we can shrink the entire cover. So the hub area on the lower unit will be covered at the uh, and protected now using uh, uh, the, the actual shrink wrap that is making the uh, initial cover. The line is actually reaching up and holding the material around the band and heat welding. And then as it comes to the lower unit, they'll fold it over and uh, just tuck it basically to protect it and keep water from getting into the hub. Almost complete. The last step before we can actually shrink the entire cover is to put belly bands on. And the belly bands go from the perimeter band on the uh, side of the boat down under the boat if there's nothing to tie to, or in this case, we can tie them to the trailer. And no matter how tight we have our perimeter band, when we put the heat to it with the heat gun and actually start shrinking the cover, you know, it has a natural tendency to pull the perimeter band up and then we don't get the shrink out of the wrap itself, it's just from pulling the band up. So the uh, belly bands are installed to hold the perimeter band where it initially was. We don't want to pull it too tight, but we want to keep the perimeter band in the same general area of where it was. And on a uh, power boat, we generally need about uh, a belly band every six to eight feet. On this boat, we're going to put one right by the windshield and also uh, closer to the back of the boat. Uh, we don't need anything in front of the windshield just because of the shape of the hull will hold the perimeter band down. On sailboats, you need more uh, belly bands only because of the shape of the hull. It doesn't uh, afford the perimeter band anything to attach to, so it has more of a tendency to rise. Now we have the belly bands on, and uh, Ryan is starting at the stern. And we're going to start and shrink from the perimeter band. And we're going to pick a section on the boat. And the section is right to the uh, top of the uh, cockpit area. And what we're going to do is shrink from the base. You always want to shrink from the bottom. Let the heat work for you. So Ryan is starting at the bottom. And he's going to shrink up and to the uh, top of the uh, combing on the boat. And what that is going to do is start pulling the excess plastic out of the top. You can see it shrinks very quickly. And especially because we're starting at the bottom and letting the heat rise. Now he's going to stop right here and before he gets to the top. And we're going to go around the entire boat up that far. So it's going to pull out excess. And we'll start to tighten the boat very nicely. And we won't have to shrink the top as much. And you want to always wear your glove again at this same time because you'll be padding the seams and uh, making sure that everything is holding together nicely as you go around the boat. You see Ryan is hitting the film nicely. It's very similar to spray painting where you're applying heat in the same kind of fashion. You get the material to start shrinking, and where it's not shrunk, you'll see wrinkles form. So it gives you a clue as to what you've hit and what you've missed. And same thing around the bow. Uh, we'll do this around the entire boat, and then come back and we'll put an extension on the heat tool and shrink the top. And we'll do that in sections and, uh, and the same principles on uh, use shrinking this boat will work on larger boats also.
Brian has went all the way around the boat up uh, to the uh, edge of the uh, combing and so on, and now we can do the top. And you can see the center support strap and where we've also put in the wooden uprights. And you want to actually shrink it section by section if you have the opportunity. And uh, that's what Ryan is doing right now. So the shrink wrap will actually stop shrinking at the strapping uh, going down the center and, uh, and across the unit. Ryan is also taping the seams and pleats just so that they don't come open. Uh, occasionally, uh, there's not enough heat put in to make a good heat weld, so they uh, will come open after a few days of sitting, but a, a, a simple strip of tape will uh, keep them closed for the entire storage season. Thanks for following along with us today while we installed a uh, professional and durable shrink wrap cover.